Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready to unclutter your life all day here on Local 4? We're tackling some of the biggest clutter issues that may be really weighing on you. You know that junk drawer in your home with everything from loose rubber bands to spare keys. It may have actually a negative effect on your mental health. And our Karen Drew is here with some tips and tricks to make sure clutter and mess don't cause you unneeded stress. Take a look around your house. Clutter is easy to spot, but how do we fix it? One expert says it's all about taking what you have and then finding ways to organize it with simple things from the store. Figure out what your clutter problem is. Now that tax season is here, do you have a lot of papers that need to be organized? When you open your closet, do clothes pop out? Or do you need to declutter the food from your pantry? Sometimes it's just, you know, frustration. They can't find what they need when they need it. Betty Hutari, the president of Logical Placement, does residential organizing. She says tackle one thing at a time, like the drawer we all have in our homes, the junk drawer. It's kind of frustrating opening a drawer and, and kind of tugging with it because you can't get it open. Take everything out and figure out what should not be in there, like the spare hammer or screwdriver. Think of what are you going to use. If it's a junk drawer in the kitchen, do you want to have some scotch tape, extra pens and papers, a stapler, maybe a couple of rubber bands, you know, a little memo pad, so things don't get too cluttered in there. Then look for a solution to the problem, like a drawer organizer. But remember, measure first, then go shopping. Most people do it the opposite way. They go shopping first, buy all these pretty colors, take it home, and then they realize it just doesn't fit in the closet or wherever they're looking for. Multiple organizers can be used in your drawers for utensils as well. You can also order organizers for your makeup for easier access than using a bag. And for your jewelry? And the trays make me you know, want to use them more because I can see what I have and it just is much easier for, for you to take something out. Another product that's helpful, using a whiteboard on your refrigerator. It's a great way of knowing what's, you know, what's in that large box in the freezer uh, and being able to know that, you know, is it time to buy a particular product because it's on sale this week. It takes time to get the chaos under control. What I tell clients is this didn't happen overnight, so we can't declutter overnight. Products to help you declutter your home can be all found at big box stores, hardware stores, and online. But just remember to measure before you buy. Later, we'll talk about how to even get started decluttering before you hit the stores. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Karen.